What's up guys, Charlie Pangas here. So recently I came out with some products on my website. I made a bunch of different t-shirt mock-ups and I bundled them together. And I wanna show you guys how to use my mock-ups in Photoshop to get the most out of them. And honestly, they're awesome. So I can't wait to show you. Let's go and get started. We are currently on my website's homepage and the first thing we wanna do is navigate to the product mock-ups, okay? This is where all of the mock-ups are going to be. And I sell them individually, but if you want to buy them as a pack, you want to actually click on t-shirt mock-up four pack. And it's actually cheaper to buy the, the um, four pack versus the other ones. You can actually pay with Sezzle if you wanted to. So if you don't want to buy this up front, you can actually just make four payments on it. This one pack includes everything you will ever need for t-shirt mock-ups. We have our regular crew neck, tons of texture and wrinkles to make the shirt look real. And then we have a folded crew neck and then we have a front and back mock-up as well. So this pack literally includes everything you will ever need. In every mock-up, you can change the color of the tee. So um, anyway, it's really nice. I'm gonna show you guys how to use each one today. So let's go ahead and go to Photoshop. The first mock-up that I wanna go over today is called Minimalist Crew Neck Version 1. And I love this mock-up. This is probably one of my favorite out of the pack because it just has so much texture and it looks so realistic and it's such a nice looking mock-up. It's so symmetrical. I designed this mock-up to be easy to edit with layers. So if you go to the layers palette here, you're gonna see all these different groups and these are the groups that we can edit to accomplish different looks, right? So obviously if we toggle this shadow and highlight group down, we can see soften, which basically just makes the shirt look a little bit more faded. It softens the colors really is what it does. And then we have the wrinkle definition, which just makes those wrinkles really pop. So everything is really customizable and you can really just change the opacity or the fill of these layers to get the desired look that you're going for. But I recommend not messing with these layers if you're not familiar with Photoshop and you're not an expert. And by the way, I set up all of my mockups to have the same layer structure. So if you buy one, you're going to be familiar with another one if you buy another one. So none of them are different, if that makes sense. I just wanted to make it as easy as possible for everybody. So this middle group is going to be the most important. If I toggle this down, you can see that I do have like this text design layer. You can delete that if you want to. I believe I'm going to update that in a future uh, version update and just delete that because I don't really think it needs to be there. But anyway, some people I will help you because you'll know exactly where the design needs to sit. Really easy to drag and drop your art into this mockup. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. So I have my artwork right here. Now I can hide the background layer and just import a PNG, but I'm actually going to show you how to do it with a black background. So I'm going to copy this entire artboard or canvas, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to do shift command V to paste that in place. You can also just do command V or control V, whatever it is on PC. And we're just going to resize this until it is sitting on top of the mockup. And we do need to drag this into the group. So I have my layer one, which is my design. I just need to click and drag that into the group. Make sure you're not selecting the layer mask, by the way, because you can easily do that. And it looks like you're selecting the art, but you're not. So just don't do that. Trust me, because it will mess up the mockup. Um, so what we want to do is actually toggle our group down. And what we could do is go to our design layer now. And if you move it around, you're going to see that it will not exit the shirt. Like it's, it's hidden within the shirt layer. So that's exactly why I have that layer mask. Another thing you're gonna notice is it's not blending in with the shirt and that is completely fine. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna change the blend mode of this design layer to screen and it's going to automatically look like it belongs on the shirt. It's literally that easy. And as you can see, there's rich textures. It makes it look like it's printed on the shirt. Now let's change the shirt color real quick. So go ahead and go to the shirt color group and then you can toggle that down and we could change it to any color we want. Let's go and try white. Now, as you can see, the design's not working now because it is intended for a darker design. So um, this one's simply not going to work for this particular shirt color. And just remember, if you want to make your artwork blend, you just need to change the blend mode to screen if you're working with a darker color shirt and it's going to make it blend with the shirt. The next mock-up we have is called Vintage Wash T. And this is the version two. And uh, this one already has a design layer to show you what it's gonna look like on the shirt. And the first thing you're gonna notice is our, a little tag up here that says Vintage Wash T-shirt Mockup by Charlie Pangas. You can literally just delete this layer or hide it. And similar to the last one that we had, we have our highlights and shadow layers. But again, I don't wanna mess with those because I, I think it's perfect as is. If you really wanted to, you can just adjust the highlights and texture layer by changing the feel and we can really make it have a lot of texture or not a lot of texture at all. And again, we have our artwork group and we just need to drag artwork into this group. And as you can see, we have this artwork, which is just text. This mock-up's a little bit more advanced because it does have color presets. And if you toggle these on, you can see what I'm saying. So it is kind of cool because you can literally just choose a preset and it's uh, done for you. But if you really want full control, you can literally just go to change shirt color, this group right here, click on the color, and you can change it to any color. The next mock-up I have is basic t-shirt mock-up version two. 
So it's just like the other minimalist crew neck, but it's got a slightly different shape. It's a little wider. For this one, I'm just gonna paste some artwork in my artwork folder. I'm just gonna resize my artwork after pasting it and just hit return. And again, I need to change the blend mode to screen. I created a duplicate copy because I wanna put one on the back as well. So I'm gonna actually resize this one for a pocket. Untoggle that back mockup, go to the artwork folder, and we're just gonna drag this one into the artwork group. And then now we have the back as well. So now I wanna show you what it just did. So now we have the front and we have the back and we can change the colors. Obviously I'm not seeing that because the back one's toggled on, but again, I can change the colors and the colors are very rich on this one. I really focused on the textures of the fabric and the color accuracy as well. And I think I did a pretty good job. Moving on to the last mock-up of the set is uh, this folded mock-up. Really love this one. And I wanna show you guys just how good this one looks. So we're gonna go to that design goes here layer paste our design in place and we are going to resize it and then we're going to change the blend mode to screen and bam look how good that looks dude oh my gosh look at the detail on this anyway these mock-ups are fire man if you guys want to pick them up i will link them in the description below but this is a overview of what they look like and function like and i hope you guys enjoy them i really do thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video peace